Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Blocks and Generates Press. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Asset Library module in GB Pro. Let's get started. First, let's go to Dashboard, Plugins, and make sure we have GB and GB Pro installed. The Save SVG plugin is optional here, but it's highly recommended as it allows us to choose SVG files from our media library. Next, let's go to Generate Blocks and Asset Library. You can add shapes and icons to your library. The two work basically the same except that shapes are dynamic elements. This means that if you make some changes here, those changes will reflect in your site. And icons are static elements. This means that if you make some changes here, those changes will not affect your existing icons. Let's add a group. Give the group a name like custom and add the shape. Clicking browse allows you to choose a file from your media library thanks to safe SVG plugin. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the SVG HTML field. A good resource for creating custom shapes is to use a website like getwaves.io. You can use the options here to create a variety of shapes. But the key here is to remove the color field so you can control the colors using GB's options. Once you're happy with the shape, you can click download and copy SVG code. It's always a good idea to come to this website, which I will link below to optimize your SVG. So for this one, we will click paste markup, paste in the shape, you see that the file size is reduced by 25%. Copy as text. Go back to our asset library and paste in the code. We can give it a name like squares and save our shape. Next, let's add a group to the icons. Give it a name and add icon. For this one, I will choose a file from the media library. Save icons and now we're ready to use it. Let's create a new page And add a container, go to shapes, add shape, you can see our group is here, and we can access the icon and change the color. Next, let's add a button. Go to icon, you see the group we just created and the icon that we just added. Publish our page and take a look. Now let me demonstrate the dynamic versus static property. So let's create another shape. A 
Again, copy our code. Optimize it. Head back to our library and update the code here. You see the shape changed. Save our shape. And for icon, we will choose another file. So again, it changed here. Save icon. Go back to the page we just created and refresh. You see that because shapes are dynamic, so it's updated here. And because icons are static, it doesn't get updated here. Lastly, if you have shapes or icons that you commonly use in different installs or websites, you have the option to export the group, which will download a JSON file, then you can import it here. This saves you the time from recreating the same groups over and over again. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.